was by the serenity of the dal lake in Srinagar that Pandit Ravi Shankar taught Beatle George Harrison the sitar in the 60s. But on the bright and sunny afternoon of May the 25th, 2008, the lake was to get set to host a musically historic event in its surroundings. Young blood was in its full form. Schoolgirls were bubbling with excitement. Security was at its alert best. As it wasn't just the first major concert in two decades, but the first time a Pakistani band was to play in the so-called sensitive state. And the fact that it was Janoon, the energy was at a boost for familiar reasons. Do you follow all their music? Yes! Yeah. Do, you know, do you know their songs? Yeah. Are you happy that they're here? Yeah. Let's get Janoon fast! Yeah. So after a quick sitar and guitar twist by the American Indian band The Sings, it was time for Salman Ahmed and his new backup band to come out and take up their musical jihad for peace. Though it's still called Janoon, the band is basically veteran Salman Ahmed with a fresh backup list that has S. Chatterjee on tabla, Chris Terry on bass and Sunny Jain on the drums. More like a global outfit fronted by Salman, but true to the sound of Janoon. From political bigwigs to former models as well as royalty, the crowd was taken over by the retro feel of the Janoon sound that they knew only too well. Salman's confidence also grew as he felt the vibe of familiarity that made his tenure wait to perform here beyond worth it. They knew every track and it was more than apparent that Srinagar's youth had grown up listening to the band irrespective of common perception. A bit of trademark Janoon Sufi rock also made its way into the set. as did Salman's guitarist side. After which, at the scheduled hour, it was time to sign off. After a performance that saw no problem whatsoever and left a feeling of harmony in the guests that will for good put to rest performance anxiety in the valley. And here's a post-concert Salman as proof of that. Well, it's a lovely post-concert evening, nice and lovely and pleasant. And Salman Janouni Ahmed is definitely feeling the love because he's had a great concert, one that he's been looking forward for years. A dream come true. Uh, you know, 10 years ago, 1998, May, uh, I was in India. We were touring the whole country and I asked, why can't we go and play in Kashmir? And they said, not in this lifetime, you won't be able to do it. And I held on to the dream and the dream came true today. So when three days ago the direct risk uh, threat came, I just said, I said, look, we need a jihad for peace now. You know, those days of hostility are gone. Let's move forward. And today at the at the audience, I mean, I mean at, at the at the concert, you saw the audience. They didn't have any of that baggage. People, all those I mean, young they knew each and every track. I mean, all these schoolgirls were lip syncing each and every track. And there you think, I mean, there you go. Everybody's listening to music. They know Janoon's music. And seriously, Saman, they were lip syncing every track, even the deeper tracks. Yeah, and it makes me very happy, you know, for any artist to have music which test, you know, stands the test of time. Uh, today in Kashmir, where I haven't been here ever before, haven't promoted, been promoted here, and all of a sudden you see 15,000 people out there singing your songs. It, 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 it's really humbling. It's a thrill to be there, man, really. Thanks very much. All the best, man. I okay. hope you keep coming down, bro. Take care, dude. Sure. In Srinagar with camera person Shaquille Ahmed, saying goodnight to Salman Ahmed, this is Rachel Charles.